It's the big kahuna dish to satisfy your undeniable appetite for comfort. It's late night binge food. It's a new Hawaiian classic. It's Loco Moco. A bed of rice to welcome a seared beef patty. More of a meatloaf burger, really. Covered with mushroom gravy and topped with a fried egg. Loco Moco is your answer for a hearty and protein packed meal. Perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Let's get it started. Pretty simple ingredient list. Starting off with dicing an onion to go with our ground beef. Pro technique to work on here. Cut the top off, keeping the root side intact. Cut the onion in half and peel the dry skin layers off. Then we'll slice horizontally a couple slices, but not all the way through. Then we'll slice vertically, still keeping the onion intact. Then you can get to dicing while you hold the root side with your other hand. Try this out, you'll get it. And into the bowl with the onion and onto mincing our garlic. Onion and garlic will be the perfect subtle flavor boosters to mix into high quality beef. We'll get to that in a second. Smash the cloves with the flat side of the knife to make it easier to remove the outer skin. Fresh garlic really makes a difference, but you're welcome to use dried granulated garlic and dried granulated onion, no judgment here. A teaspoon of each will work well. With the garlic minced and into the bowl, we'll get to the star of the show. Certified Angus Beef 80-20 ground beef, my go-to for burgers. Typically, you'll see this as ground chuck, 80 being the percent lean and 20 the percent fat. Just make sure it's certified Angus beef because if it's not certified, it's not the best. We'll build the flavor further with a couple teaspoons of Worcestershire, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and also a teaspoon of black pepper. Some panko breadcrumbs will hold things together and absorb some of the rendered fat as these patties simmer. Okay, time to mix things up. Avoid spending too much time overworking the mix. You don't want to melt the fat with your warm hands. I'll even use a bowl scraper to help lift and chop, making sure to get the ingredients evenly combined without overmixing. Now, because this recipe is for four patties, I like to separate the mix into equal portions before forming our patties. One by one, we'll form the patties into this oblong shape. Even though this is a uniquely Hawaiian dish, it's a relatively new classic, accredited to a restaurant in Hilau, Hawaii, apparently from the request of some teenager surfer in the late 1940s. Well, forming the patties this way kind of reminds me of Salisbury steak, but it's also a nod to the Japanese-style hamburg I once ate at the Royal Host restaurant in Tokyo. With our oval patties all formed, head into the refrigerator to chill the fat back up before they get seared. In the meantime, let's get our mushrooms and scallions ready. Slice the baby bellas, or buy them pre-sliced if you like. White button are fine too. Not sure why I always buy the whole ones. Maybe they just look more appealing. Set the mushrooms aside and slice some fresh scallion for our garnish. Now to some cooking. Preheat a cast iron pan on the stove top and add a little oil and bring the patties in to get them seared. This is a 12 inch cast iron, shout out to my friends at Smithy by the way, which gives plenty of space between each patty. A little press on each patty while they're still raw makes sure there's good contact with the pan. The result, a great crust. After about three minutes, it's on to the other side for some more searing. That deep browning will add so much flavor to our final dish. More on that in a second. Pull them from the pan to a clean plate while they're still raw inside. I'll just quickly clean any charred bits from the pan so they don't burn completely while we sear our mushrooms. With a little more oil added to the pan and the heat at medium high, toss in the mushrooms. Move them around a little bit to get as much contact with the pan surface as you can get. We want to brown pretty quickly before the mushrooms release all their water. Ah, oh, it's smelling good. Stir things up a bit to increase the brown surface area of those mushrooms. With the mushrooms browned, pour in the beef stock and just a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. We're building some serious umami here. It seems pretty watery now, but here's a great way to thicken it into a gravy. We'll make a slurry with cornstarch and water. If we were to just toss the cornstarch into the mushroom broth now, it would create clumps. 
Here we introduce the cornstarch to liquid in a separate little bowl. Mix it up with a fork until clumps are gone. And with all of it looking smooth, we'll pour it into the simmering mushrooms. Stir things around a little bit and bring those gorgeous beef patties back to the party. With our patties nestled into the mushroom sauce, we'll simmer a few minutes on the one side. Our sauce will thicken while the patties cook through. We'll turn over each patty and simmer a couple more minutes. They can hang out in the pan for a few minutes with the heat turned off while we get some eggs fried. While these eggs are cracking, do us a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you for it. Okay, I could watch eggs frying for days, but we've got to put this loco moco together. Put down a bed of rice that you obviously thought to make before even forming the burger patties. Nestle a patty in the rice and spoon some of that rich mushroom gravy all over the patty. Look how thick this got. Top with our fried egg and we'll garnish with the scallions. Time to break the yolk and enjoy the bite. Getting that yolk together with a bite of the patty, that's the ideal forkful. Loco moco, that's comfort any time of day. See you next time in the test kitchen.